Hello, hello. I have been dreaming and scheming this plan here for forever. Um, but I thought it would be so fun to do um, like an envelope journal for Valentine's Day with like a ton of little spaces for love notes. So um, let's get started. This is a simple kit, so I linked that down below if you want to do the kit, but you can also use what you have and do this same kind of concept. But I'm really excited to try this binding kind of method that I'm going to be using because it's envelopes and I want things to kind of be hidden as much as possible. So let's go ahead and get started and we'll see. This is the first time I put this together. So we're just going to go for it. All right. So in the kit, you have your cover papers. I printed these on a lightweight card stock. I also printed the journaling cards on lightweight cardstock and the hearts, the numbered hearts. Now you'll see there's two sets of large hearts and one set of small hearts. I printed both and cut all of them out and then adjusted based on whichever envelope size worked with whichever number I needed. So, um, Let's, oh, and the envelopes I printed on regular, just lightweight computer paper because I didn't want them to be too bulky. So hopefully that all makes sense. All right, I'm going to use, I have this piece of chipboard. Uh, you could also use like a cardboard or whatever, but I'm just using that to beef up the spine and it'll make more sense in a moment. So this is a piece that comes with it. It's just if you want to cover up anything that you're putting there in that spine. So let's go ahead and glue that down before we do any of our uh, fancy binding. Just want to spread that glue out. So I'm putting that on the chipboard. If you're not going to reinforce it, which you probably don't need to, but if you're not going to, then you don't need to worry about this because it will print pretty anyway. I did on the, on the cover and the envelopes print a neutral. This was the neutral I printed on the back of the covers and on the back of the envelope or I guess it's the journaling cards I used it too. It's, oh, there we go. Just like a little cream heart. So it's really neutrally. All right, we have this on. I did not line that up super awesome, but that's okay. I'm gonna just trim that little extra off because I'm gonna need to be conserving the space. You'll see why. All right, so this is my thought. <laughs> This is going to be showing how this is going to go together is just like this. These two pieces are going to overlap and you'll see I did this on purpose, all this overlapping to reinforce that spine as much as possible. So let's go ahead and glue our cover together. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use my super awesome glue right there on that spine. And we're going to give it a decent amount if it's going to cooperate. There we go. Get right up there by the edges. And I'll go ahead and put it on this as well. And that's going to line up here with this spine like so. So let's get that part lined up. Now, um, when you fold these, I kind of worked together to fold them together as much as I could to make sure that they were gonna go ahead and lay super flat. So, and then this piece is gonna have to go here and that'll be covered later, so don't worry about that. All right, so let's just really give that a good push down, a good fold, make sure everything's lined up nice. And we now have the basic shape of our cover. This is going to be so fun. I'm really excited. Okay. So then <clears throat> your little spine is going to fit right in there. 
and I cut that spine based on this. So I knew that that would work in there. And when there's an outside cover piece that's gonna come and cover up any like this back piece right here. And that outside piece I folded based on the spine as well. So that's why there's not fold marks. It's because I wanted you to be able to just fold it specifically to fit how your journal ended up fitting. All right, now <clears throat> in my little, I decided I want six pages is all. And you'll see why, because you can do extra flip outs and things. So essentially I'm doing six signatures, but there's not nearly enough room to actually do all holes and things like that. So I came up with an idea and we're gonna see how this works. So I, in the back of this chipboard, I just penciled in six, one, two, three, four, five, six tiny little lines on both ends. Then I used my X-Acto knife, just like this. I thought this would be hard to see, so I'm gonna explain it the best I can. And then I came in and I just at an angle here, kind of carved into that, and then I kind of tilted that knife back and forth just to open that gap just a little bit. Not a lot, we don't want them running into each other and tearing things up, but enough that we're gonna be able to stick our waxed thread, or you could use twine or floss um, into those crevices, just barely. You don't even really need to get them in there. They're just more of a placeholder. They may even be unnecessary by the time you glue everything down. But we're just going in and just kind of tipping that to open that gap a little. All right, now we're starting on the back with, this is waxed thread. I've already pre-measured it. I wrapped it around this, I think I did seven. Just make sure that you have enough to have six and room to tie it. And so I'm leaving a good amount here. So I'm gonna be able to tie that. And I am just gonna start kind of threading this through those gaps. And then in the front, which this is the front, that will be straight. On the back, it'll go a little crooked as we go over to our next slot, but that's okay. So I'm just kind of wiggling that until it kind of gives way and goes down into that crevice just a little bit. Like I said, it's really just a placeholder, not critical. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and keep winding our way down there. I'm trying to stay in the camera for you. I know that's hard with this kind of a tiny detail work. And I'm keeping it tight, nice and tight. That one doesn't wanna go in. And it may not even matter, like I said, because once you glue all this down, those threads are gonna be fairly secure anyway. I just like the idea of making sure those stay lined up. Because they're gonna be our signature holders for our envelopes. And we're gonna want those to be as invisible as possible. Almost there, last little spot. And it, like I said, like it's okay if it's not perfect. This is all very forgiving. All right, so we have that in place. We're gonna tie this into a nice square knot. And it's nice because having those things in the gaps will make sure that those don't come together. I might have not done a square knot, but let's just at least get it tightened down and then we'll go our square knot. There. All right, and I have plenty of extra, but that's good for tying those knots. So there's the front, it's almost invisible, which is awesome, and then the back. And we're gonna go ahead and trim, I'm gonna leave extra it's okay because it's gonna just be glued in anyway all right oh, we did it 
You guys, that worked even better than I thought. So here's our spine, and we're gonna just glue this baby down. And we're gonna glue it, like a lot, <laughs> because we want this to really be secure, especially up here along those, um, where it hits the chipboard. We want that to just be super secure. I don't know why my glue is having a bad day. Let me get that. All right, there we go. Now oh, it's flowing and we want a lot. I'm gonna get down in between everywhere that I can, just dabbing, working along. Just lightly spread that out because it's really, I did a good amount, which is good because this is the spine of your book. All right, so here's our spine and here's our spine. I'm going to put that in and making sure everything's lined up and it's folding properly. And then I am going to press that down. Super good. Make sure that's holding. All right, while that's drying, let's talk about this piece. So this is meant to kind of come for not only decoration, but also for practicality because it's gonna hide this. Um, you could do that with some lace if you want it instead. You could do some fancy border hole punches along here to make this look kind of lacy. I liked it how it is, so I'm just leaving it as it is, but I'm gonna give that a good amount of glue. Because that's in kind of a critical location and anything you can do to reinforce your spine, I am all for. So let's line that up the best we can. That looks pretty good. And we are gonna glue that down. Now I'm gluing it in a closed position, but then I'm gonna open it and make sure that it's not hindering anything and that everything can open and close and that that hinge of mine is in place and working. All right. And it's nice because with these covers, this is gonna have some good flexibility because this is just a lightweight cardstock. Now I messed that line up right there. Let's see if there's any chance I can still fix it. Ooh, I got it a little. That's okay. All right, now let's go ahead and put these envelopes in. Um, this kit comes with the gold subscription kit for February, or you can just buy it over at the website. Um, and I will link that below if you want to do this exact one. I think it's going to be really fun. Um, but keep in mind that if you're a gold subscriber, you're going to have it anyway. So just don't double up on it is what I'm saying. All right. Now... This is where it's gonna get fun. I want these to be invisible. So I have gone through, there's tons of different envelopes, tons of different numbers on things, and I have decided what I want, like the general layout. There are infinite layouts that you could do with this. I mean, you could even use these envelopes and turn it into just bunting that you would hang up with love notes on it for Valentine's Day, which would be super cute. I mean, you could do anything, but, um, for this, I wanted these to be in a book and I want them to be invisible. So I've laid out generally the numbers of everything that I want. This is going to be our first page. This is number one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick it under our first string. If I can get it to come, there we go. And I'm gonna put that right here. And that is how this is gonna be held into our book. Now, 
because it's right there on that edge, it might interfere just a touch with that, but it should pretty much operate like a page. You might need to just give that a little leeway right up there where it's connected and where it's gonna be rotating. But overall, I think this is going to hold super well. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna verify where I need to put my glue. And I think my best bet is going to be to do some down the sides here, but not too high up because I don't want to interfere with the rest. And then I'm going to come here and go around the edge up to, I'm making sure I'm not going past where I can. Right about there. And I am going to glue that shut. And there is our first envelope, our first envelope page. I love it. So I'm just gonna give you a preview. Um, but these are kind of the heart numbers. And I have a ton of fun little labels and bits. So I'm gonna go ahead and just layer these just a little bit and just have some fun. You could do lace. Um, I kind of am trying to avoid making it too feminine in case this is gonna be for a guy. But it's totally up to you because some guys love lace. My guy, not a lace guy. <laughs> I'm not really a pink guy either though, so who cares? Break the rules, whatever you want. All right, and these are not in the kit, but they're just fun and I like to add them for the contrast with the black. So I'm just gonna have some fun there. All right, now, just so you have an idea of what's in the kit and goes in each of these, there are a ton of these cute little journaling cards. You could do some stamping up here or write or whatever, but I'm just gonna put them in now so that we know what's gonna be in there. You guys, this is so cute. All right. And um, also it would be fun to kind of do something like this, kind of like it's a seal for it or whatever. Or you could even do it down below and then use it as like a little tuck to tuck that under so that that flap stays down even better. I'm gonna think on that and get back to it. So let's keep moving ahead with our main envelopes. All right, and I wanna get to showing you a few other things I wanna do. So on this one, I want this short flap to be the one that comes under that second string. I'm gonna try to use this little guy to pull that up because it's good because they're tight, but it makes it a tad hard to get those under. There we go. All right, so let's go ahead and see where we need to be gluing. I'm gonna be coming down here like so. Perfect. And then this can pretty much go everywhere. It will especially be good because it'll hold that string in place super well. Oh, this is gonna be so fun. All right, so then I just, oh, I bent that, that's okay. Let me fix this. And the fun part is, is you can adjust if this is up higher or down lower too. Awesome. Okay, um, this is envelope two. I think I wanna put it over on this side, that'll be fun. And then I can just decorate it as I go. Um, you could do as many or as few as you want. The heart numbers do go up to 18, I believe. So you can kind of play with however many you want. All right. 
Oh, you guys, so cute. Now, this is fun because I have all this. Let me put my journal card in for this one. Do I want to match or do I want... I think I want the light pink. So there's the journal card for that one. I mean, wouldn't you love to get that with love notes on all of those? I just think that's so fun. Okay. Oh, this is fun. Look at serendipity because this is going to go right here and be envelope number three. Let's see. Maybe I'll put it over here and then we'll see it this time. So it's going straight on to this other envelope. Like so. And then that is going to come here and it will just open up with it. So that's only going across the top. <laughs> Do you like that fancy glue job? But I don't want it to come past here because it needs to open. So it can't go past there. Make sure that we can open and close that easily. Awesome. We'll go ahead and close this guy. You just kind of have to watch where you're gluing so you're not gluing down something you don't want to when you're doing these envelopes. All right, tiny little journal card for this one. All right, we're up to three. Oh, you guys. Oh, I'm excited to embellish this too. This will be fun. All right, number four. We're back to one of these. So this is the one coming under here. Let me get this. Maybe this will slip under there easily. Oh, yeah. My hands are a little shaky today. It's super cold here. We're having winter storms all over the place. All right, line that up. We're good to go. All right. Let's go ahead and try this method this time. I think we'll be just fine. I'm just eyeballing where I want that glue to hit and not hit. I know it needs to get all of this bottom portion. Pretty good. Oh, that's not good. Let's try that again. This guy needs to lay flat. There we go. Perfection. Okay. And then this one's going to be cute. It's just going to be right here underneath. It's kind of sad to glue on these cute sides. But wouldn't that be a cute um, bunting to just make with a bunch of envelopes? I think that'd be so fun. There we go. And there we go. All right, and that'll go like so. This is number four. Here's the number four heart. And we'll come back through and add some cute labels. And here's our number five. I think I'll use this just in case. We're hoping we can get out and go skiing this weekend. Oh, cute. All right, five. Number six. Oh, this one's kind of a fun one, but this is the guy that needs to go on. All right. I like this. This feels really sturdy. I was worried that it would feel a little bit like these would be, the envelopes would be moving and these um, signature strings wouldn't hold on very well, but they, they feel really sturdy and secure. So that makes me happy. 
because we don't want things wiggling around. I'm just switching back and forth with the glue. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> just a little of everything. The important part is that that is free flowing and it is, so we nailed it. All right. Now this one I wanted to do right here and it's going to be its own little flap open thingy. So let's go ahead and glue that down. Assemble that little envelope. And then this part is going to become the flap. So, I mean, like I said, <laughs> you, there's no rules. You can willy nilly, however you want these things hanging out on your I mean, you can turn them into flaps. You can put more strings if you wanted. I, except for, I think that would be hard. Here's seven right next to it. But the possibilities are truly endless. All right, six and seven. Cute. And we only have two more strings. So let's get this guy in. And don't cut the string, that would be so sad. <laughs> that would be really heartbreaking. All right. too much glue on that one. That's okay. It will dry. Or smear one way or the other. All right, let's let that dry for a minute. But that one's number eight, I believe. Yes. And there are even more envelopes. I didn't use all of them, but I wanted to do a huge variety because you never know um, the order that people are going to like. I've been forgetting to stuff my journal cards in. Let's do, let's do a matching on that one. And then all these teeny ones are the same. They're very simple because it's just a teeny space. <laughs> but aren't they cute? Oh my heavens. There's something about little envelopes just makes my heart happy. Oh wait, I got one in there. Oh, that one has one. Okay. We're not that far behind. This guy needs one. I need that glue to dry. Okay. And seven has one and eight does not. Let's see. Let's do that one. All right. This one's nine. It's coming right here. I wonder if I could. I'm trying to think if there's another way I can get this on. You could put it down in a corner and that would be fun. Let's do that. And I probably am cramming too many envelopes, honestly, in here. But it doesn't seem like it's going to be overly thick, so that's promising. <laughs> Maybe I'll do this so I don't end up going overboard on that glue. I'm just using that as my guide up here. As long as you get up there and then, oh, I just went where I didn't need to go, I think. There we go. All 
All right. Nine. Let's use this one. I have better aim with this one. <laughs> Cute. All right, the last one that's going in here is this one. And this string's gonna be easier because there's nothing behind it. And right next to our string. There we go. <laughs> This makes me happy. I just gotta say, it just makes me happy. All right, this one's 10. And if you have like thin lace, that would be really fun to add in here. But I think these cute little paper embellishments are gonna be really fun to add as well, just to spruce it up a little. And journal card. There's extra journal cards too. Um, I did print two pages though of the bigger ones. The two bigger ones. Let's see. Numero 11. I could do another flip out. But then my hearts would be sideways and I don't know if I want that. So we'll just do like this. I wish there was a way to get multiple envelopes on one string, but obviously that's not possible that I can think of. <laughs> Be breaking some kind of physical law of science if you figure that one out. All right. Cute. And that's fun how that ended up matching. Some of this is just serendipity. <laughs> but I guess when you just have this many matching papers, you're bound to have some serendipity. All right, and we'll do that so they pull it out that direction. And this is just going straight in there. And this was just so we could have an even number. I was kind of wanting to do 14 and that would, wouldn't have been hard to add two more, but we ended up with 12, but I thought 14 because Valentine's is February 14th, but this is okay. Big old 12. I'm trying to hurry for you guys so it's not too overwhelming but but I also want you to see every part of the process because it's a lot all right and there's that little journal card okay so now we have our book let's get that flap down I was letting it dry okay it's everything should be super dry and it is this is cute. Wouldn't it be cute to do like good for coupons in there in each one, like a little good for? Good for dinner on the town. <laughs> awesome. All right, I'm gonna go through, we're getting kind of long. I don't want it to be too long, but I do want to add in a few of these fun little embellishments. I think this front cover needs something fun like, yes, registered. This is an official love notebook. You can tell because it's been registered. <laughs> Cute. This would be fun to do some lace along here. Let's see what I have that's not gonna overwhelm it too much. That's cute. It's also cute without it though. I think I'll leave it. I'm gonna leave that super simple. Okay, we already did a few on that number one, but I think it would be fun to add some fun little 
envelope flap tab thingies. So that one's going to be a special delivery. And I didn't glue it shut, right? You could also do some fun little embellishments on these, some stamping up on the tops of those tab cards or stamping anywhere would be beautiful. So just play around. There's a ton of little bits. Let me see, are they in the camera? Yeah, you can see them kind of, most of them. So definitely play around and just start adding where you want. I just think what a fun gift. I'm going to warn you, this was a lot of cutting because cutting out those envelopes is intense. I want that on there. Or do I want one of my little stamped black bits? I have a bunch of those. Oh, that's cute too. I'll just do a tiny little bit on it. See how shaky my hands are? You guys are making me nervous. <laughs> All right, do I need something here to open that little tab? Oh, that would be fun. We'll do it right side up though. Just a little pull tab when you lift that envelope. Cause you can't really do too much with this one. I guess you could. Why not? Let's see. Probably a small one and I'm going to do some red. That'd be cute because it will accent the envelope it's glued to. You could even come off of it a little, which would be fun. That's cute. All right. It worked. You can do more than I thought. This is big. Too big for that space. Oh, but that could be fun. And then when they lift it, it's like, oh, there's number five. Let's do it. Oh, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Oh, we have these fun circles too, which would be really cute for sealing an envelope. Let's see. Oh, that hides it. That's cute. Let's do that. We're going to have a circle surprise, a heart circle surprise for when you open that envelope. I love it. Maybe another little parcel post when you open it. Because they are love letters. Parcel post. All right, number seven. Let's see, I have another circle. Um, these were easy to cut out for me. Um, they were one and a half inch. So just a heads up on that. I was able to use my one and a half inch punch to get those out. So that was nice. All right, we need it on this half. And you could do a pretty elaborate little collage right here. Let's see what we've got. Oh, that's cute to bring in a little more red over on that side. Fun, fun little kit. Oh, wouldn't this be fun to do for a grandkid or a spouse? Anybody, anybody would love it. Well, I think we've got enough. Nothing's really screaming out. Oh, maybe? Hmm, no, I'm leaving it. Let's see. Is that confusing to have number eight and number 106? <laughs> well, too bad, we're doing it. Cause I like that red number right there. Okay, let's see. What do we have? I think I need something kind of small. I love this little special delivery label, how it's angled like that. It's just different and it makes me happy. Do I want, I have these cute little tickets. 
Nope, I like it like it is. But I like the ticket there. Ooh, but you know what I like? I like that, the stripe, the label look right there. Let's do it. And I think what would be fun is having something like this poking out. So let's hurry and get that on before it's too late. I can do it. There we go. And then I'll have to glue my poor guy back down. Okay. Love it. Okay, let's see. I'm just breezing through this. I, I know you guys will be able to take a little more time and put a little more thought into where things go, but I mean, it's also coordinated that it kind of all just works. Mm, happy Valentine's Day. I love it. That'd be cute if you did like an advent. Oh, you could put fun little gift cards in and do it an advent. And then this would be number 14 if you did it correctly. And it would be happy Valentine's. Let's see, what else do I have that I wanna add to this? Oh, I don't know, I think that's good. I don't wanna overwhelm it. Maybe something, oh, that would be cute. I do, I do wanna add that. That comes off of that envelope. Make sure I've really glued down that edge right there close to the binding. Cause anytime you get close to a binding, it's gonna be something that gets a lot of action. <laughs> All right. Okay, here it is. We're gonna stop there. I might come back and add a few more things. I kept thinking, Maybe I should add some cute whale tail punches like to come here to flip them. But I think I love it. I think I love it as it is. All right. So we have every one of them has their cute little journal card inside. Um, you could put like an inscription like to so-and-so with love Valentine's 2024 or whatever. Um, so you have your envelopes just all over cute cute little envelopes oh, you guys this one looks sad and lonely we forgot to embellish it do we want a special delivery i have to put something oh i want to put this loved one yes i do and possibly we need another tiny black one to give us some contrast here Love it. Love it. Mm, where do I want that? I think I want it up here. Yep. Okay. There, now that one's not so sad. Then you have that one, number four, number five. Number six flips out and then you pull that. And number seven. Number eight and number nine. Number 10. Oh, you guys, this is cute. I love it. Oh, that one didn't get its card. I love to see it all come together because it's one thing to design it on a computer and it's completely different when you get to see it in, come alive. It's so fun. All right, and then number 12 and it has its journal card in there already. Okay, that is it. That is the project for your um, February gold subscription. Or like I said, you can buy it over at the shop and I will link that below. But anyway, super fun. If you wanted to do more, it would also be way fun to print little pictures and have pictures of you and whomever you're giving it to. That would be so fun. Or you could even put those on the back with writing on the front. But anyway, there's plenty of room to add because you can see it, it's, got, it's got a good amount of space in there so that you can have some fun with it. 
But anyway, I love it and I hope you do too. Happy, happy January and happy Valentine's Day when it gets there. Thank you so much for watching. We'll talk to you later. Bye.